SolidWorks and we're going to design a bracket today. So I'm also going to show you how to start from a new part. In, in this we see the major functions, parts, assembly, and drawings. So the first thing we're going to do is select a part <coughs> and when you look in this part you're going to notice that there's um, three planes, the front, the top, and the right. And each one of these planes you can think of as a chalkboard. Um, and depending on what you're actually drawing is how you want to um, select. You can select any any plane you want, but it, um, you know, it's, it's as, you, as you learn about the program, you'll understand, um, okay, I'm going to select the front view because that's the particular view I'd like and actually we'll go back and, and do it a different way as well. Um, so in here we're going to select our sketch and that turns our plane normal to us which basically means it's parallel to our face or you're essentially looking at a chalkboard on a wall. That's whatever you want to think about it. So now um, we're going to select the rectangle and <clears throat> this here is the origin and we like to um, it, it just helps lock lock things down you don't necessarily have to to use it but it's uh, it becomes good practice when you see these black lines in the blue lines what the black means is that um, they are um, the black is fully defined and the blue lines are not completely defined. Um, you know a lot of books talk about completely defining your sketch um, before you move forward. Um, I like to just dimension up the necessities. So with that um, we're gonna go over here and select Smart Dimension and when you left click once on a line it's intuitive enough to know where the endpoints are. You left click again to locate the dimension and then here there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can use this rotational bar down here or when it's highlighted in blue you can go ahead and click it. So I'm gonna type in um, uh, three inches. Okay. Uh, now you'll notice that we can continue to use the dimension command um, so without having to go back and select it so we can select pretty much everything and I'm gonna make this four inches by um, using my numeric keypads to end the command you can use you can hit the escape button select OK now up here I want you to notice that you're still in the sketch mode and this pencil and this X. So if we X out, it's going to ask you, hey, do you want to kill everything that you've created in the sketch? Uh, of course we don't because we want to keep it. So to end the sketch, we could select this. Okay, so now if we go to an isometric view, there's our sketch and it's in gray. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see it, but um, the colors do mean things. So we're going to go back into the sketch, hit our third mouse button and go edit sketch. We're going to go back to normal too so we get that chalkboard kind of thing in our face happening and um, hang on I just screwed up my view. Alright so here I can add some um, 3D parameters to it like give it an, an, an extrusion um, but one of the things we're going to do is before we do that um, I'm going to show you, uh, uh, they're called center lines, actually, or construction lines. My monitor's doing some silly things here. So there's a couple of ways to do it. Um, this method of a diagonal allows you to find the center of this box. I don't normally do it this way because there's an advantage to um, going horizontal and vertical down the road. You'll see when we talk about symmetry that those aid. So for this particular thing, I'm going to make this um, a half an inch diameter. 
and now we're going to give it its extrusion. Um, we're going to pick a quarter of an inch, actually type it in, click OK, and there's your first 3D part. Now when you start getting into this, you definitely want to save it, um, and we'll go ahead and save this. selected a location for our part <clears throat> um, and now there's a couple of ways to go ahead and handle the base of this part um, so when you want to make a selection in your 3D to what particular face um, you want to sketch on so we're gonna select that come on back up here and say sketch okay where that green is when we go normal to that green is now our sketch plane so in there so we're gonna start in this corner and we're gonna draw the square <coughs> give it a dimension and I believe we had a thickness of a quarter of an inch so we're gonna stay with that 0.25 okay now we're gonna go to the isometric where you're gonna be able to see this extrude alright so we drew on that surface and now we're gonna give it an extrusion okay um, <clears throat> as I use the up and down slider you can see it go in but for uh, our purposes um, I usually like to key in my dimension so we're gonna call this thing um, three inches now right here <coughs> by selecting merge result which I believe is the default um, it's gonna go ahead and now you see it as a single part okay so it looks like um, it is a single part so we hit save and that concludes tutorial number one